Ook naar Shanghai. It's been about two and a half weeks since my last vlog. Normally, I would try to get a vlog out every two weeks, but it's been a bit busy here trying to plan the upcoming vacation. So two weekends ago, we went to Hangzhou. I had a three-day weekend, and we took advantage. I'm not going to say too much now because we took a lot of footage in the city, so I'll just let that roll. Action. Hi, Sanet. Hello. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. We're in Hangzhou and at the Leifeng Pagoda. You can't really see it from here, but that's where we're going to go right now, on the West Lake. We thought we were going to have to climb while we get to see the pagoda, but escalator! Yay, Chang'e! So we're at the top of the pagoda. Oh my god. Unfortunately, it is a rainy and foggy day. Otherwise, you can see probably pretty far down the West Lake. That's the pagoda we went up. Oh, I have a people to set up. Fresh fruit juice, that looks good. However, salamanders, snakes, and beetles on sticks don't look so tasty. No thanks. Booyah. Anybody hungry? That's crazy. All right, so we're at the night market in Hongzhou. Yep. And even though we're in Hangzhou, we're having two Xi'an traditional dishes. This is called Rojiamo, it's a pita bread with meat and different spices in it. And this is then, called Yarrow Palmo, which is just lamb soup with us. I guess this is pickled garlic and a special kind of bread. Like a crouton almost. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Bon appetit. So we just had an awesome day in Hangzhou, China. We took the train here this morning at 6 a.m. Got up at 3.45 in order to get over to the train and make it on time. And it's currently 9 p.m. and we're heading back to Shanghai uh, by train again. And this is a really nice high-speed train that goes actually a maximum speed of around 300 kilometers per hour. That's a lot of miles. Um, and I just want to leave you on this note. Da -da 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 -da. We also celebrated the Chinese Autumn Moon Festival during that same weekend. Basically, 
it's like a big family reunion in China. It's kind of like the equivalent of Thanksgiving. Uh, people get reunited with their families. They take the train all over the country and they eat mooncakes. Okay. These semi-sweet decorative pastry things that are usually filled with red bean or eggs or sometimes even beef, which is kind of weird because it's supposed to be a dessert. Not our favorites, to be honest. But we did have a really nice lunch with Sinet's dad. I also have an update on dancing. I've actually found a coach, so different from what you saw in my previous blog. He's from Mexico and he's been working here for a while. He has a studio. I've been taking lessons again, I'm learning again. It feels really good working on my technique, which I haven't done in a while. And there's a possibility that I'll get to do shows and get paid for it. So that would be awesome since ballroom dancing is still expensive, even in China, unfortunately. So I'll keep you posted on that. So we are now in preparation for our next big trip outside of Shanghai. Next weekend, we'll be going to Guilin. And actually, more specifically, we'll be going to Yangshu, southwest of here, really, really quite far. But anyway, we've been trying to find ways to get there, and flights are way too expensive. So we've decided to go by train, and just to get those train tickets has been a nightmare. And speaking of nightmare... <laughs> Here's Sinet to tell you more about that. The taxi, the guy, okay. So in China, when you buy train tickets, you have to go to an actual kiosk or the actual railway to buy the tickets. There is luckily a kiosk in our neighborhood. When we got there, the line was like around the corner. And I realized I forgot my passport, so I had to go back to our apartment. And the guy in the taxi said, you look like you're in a hurry. And I said, yeah, I got to go get my passport. And he's like, well, if you have, do you have a electronic copy of it? And I said, yeah. And he's like, well, just print it off at um, one of the internet bars around. He drops me off at an internet bar about a block down. I thought it would be quicker this way. But I try to access internet, couldn't access my Gmail. So I had to run all the way back, all sweaty. Uh, we thought we could pay with our bank cards, but apparently you can only pay by cash. So after I went to the ATM, got our money, came back, and the guy tells me, oh, well, we don't sell tickets to Guilin until tomorrow. <laughs> so the day after, I go at three. Yesterday, it was uh, heavy showers, really windy, and at one point, there was a thunderstorm. So I stood through in that line outside for three straight hours because this line was even longer, like three times longer than the day before. And I get to the front of line finally, and the guy tells me that they no longer have sleeper cars. The only tickets they have left are for the cheap seats, a fraction of what they would have cost if we got the sleepers. So I decided to get those because they were the only way we were going to get to Guilin. The end. So we'll let you know how the trip goes in the next vlog. Stay tuned to the far side of the world. 再见! 再见!